Good morning, friends. Okay, today we're going to start with our calendar. And guess what? It's a brand new month. It's April. Everybody say April. Okay, so let's sing the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so let's count. And we start with one. And that's it. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, or Wednesday, April 1. Okay, so let's change our days of the week calendar. So tomorrow will be Thursday. Today is Wednesday and yesterday was Tuesday. And since we have a brand new month, we also have a brand new color and our color is yellow. And our teddy bear is wearing a yellow raincoat and carrying a yellow and white umbrella. And then he's got a yellow fush, fush, fish, and yellow rain boots. And our shape, we have a new shape as well, and it's oval. Some jelly beans are oval, some plates are oval, but this is oval. Eggs are oval shaped as well. All right, so let's go outside and check the weather. Okay, so we're outside and it's a beautiful day. We have a blue sky, no clouds, and it's not hot, but it's not cold. I would say it's warm. Let's go inside and put it on the weather calendar. Okay, so now the season is spring and our weather we said was sunny and warm. Okay, so now I'm going to read our story. And today's story is Colorful Counting Crunching Fun. Ten Wiggly Wiggly Caterpillars. I was looking for the author. Well, it's De um, illustrated by Debbie Tarbet. I don't know who wrote it, but here we go. <clears throat> Ten crunching caterpillars in the bright sunshine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One fell asleep, so that left nine. Nine speedy caterpillars thought they might be late. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One was too slow, so that left eight. Eight munching caterpillars all in crunching heaven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One got a tummy ache, so that left Seven, seven cle clever caterpillars creeping through some sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One got stuck, so that left six. Six singing caterpillars glad to be alive. One, one two, three, four, five, six. One stayed to sing, so that left Five, five brave caterpillars going to explore. Let me fix this. One, two, three, four, five. One got left, lost, so that left four. Four daring caterpillars inching up a tree. One, two, three, four. One fell off, so that left three. Three cool caterpillars splashing in the dew. One, two, three. One got soaked, so that left two. Two happy caterpillars having so much fun. One, two. One got tired, so that left one. One sad caterpillar all on his own. One. When all of a sudden, there were 10 bright and colorful, pretty butterflies 
spreading their wings and flirting through, flitting through the skies. And that's the end. 10 Wiggly Wiggly Caterpillars. Okay, so now let's go do some art. Okay, so now we're going to paint a caterpillar. And everyone should have an egg carton. I put them in the crate outside for you. So we're going to paint the um, egg carton to look like a caterpillar. I have three colors. You can use as many colors as you want, or you, you, know, you can use one, you can use six, just have fun with it. But we're going to make, uh, we'll make a pattern with it. Let's see how this goes. So you just need paint, any kind of paint will work. And I'm gonna paint his head, this kind of orange color. So there's his head. Whoops. And since, oh, since I have three colors, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do a pattern. So I'm gonna paint his orange red I mean his head red, and then one, two, three. So then this one's gonna be this orangey red. Okay, so that's that. I think the next color I'll do green. So this bump, I'm gonna paint green. And I know you guys paint much nicer than Mr. Nay does at home. But so paint it all nice and green. And then remember, we're doing a pattern, or I am. You paint it however you want. So that means this one will be green. And this is fun because it should take a long time. And then the next color I have is fuchsia or hot pink. And that's what, whoops, that's what color this one will be. And this brush is so long. Let's see how we do with it. Okay, so we'll paint a pink, and that means this one will paint, be pink. So it's orange, green, pink. Orange, green, pink. So I also gave you some black pipe cleaner for the feelers or antenna and have mommy or daddy just put um, two holes in the part that you want to be the head and you just stick them in. And then there's the head. And then once your paint's dry, you can either use marker or crayon and um, draw his face. Or if you have googly eyes, you can just use some glue and stick some glue on and put his eyes on and then draw his mouth. But this is our egg carton caterpillar. And have fun with it and paint it a lot more than I painted mine. Okay, so now um, for our math, we're gonna do some more pattern. 
We did pattern with our caterpillar when we painted it. So what I've done is I've cut out some shapes and I have three different shapes and we're gonna make a caterpillar with these shapes. So I'll show you how. So I'm gonna take my blue oval and that'll be my caterpillar's head and then a yellow triangle and a green heart. So blue oval, yellow triangle, green heart. So then that means next is blue oval, yellow triangle, and green heart. So what comes next? It will be a blue oval. Blue oval, yellow triangle, green heart. And then if you want him to wrap around, use one more shape. So next would be, remember it's blue oval, yellow triangle, green heart. Blue oval, yellow triangle, green heart. Blue oval, yellow triangle, green heart. So next would be blue oval, yellow triangle, and green heart. And that's our pattern caterpillar. So any patterns will work. Any th shapes that um, mommy or daddy can cut out for you. And then you just try um, following, you know, I, Miss Renee did shapes and colors. You could do just colors or you could just do shapes, but just as long as you're practicing your patterns. And then when you're all done, you can just put it all together and start a different pattern. So I want you to have fun with making patterns. Okay, now I'm going to do science. Um, for today's science experiment, I used a piece of cardboard, some construction paper, and some tissue paper to make a butterfly. Um, I'm going to include these materials in your kits that you can take home so that you can do your own science experiment as well. But let me show you how it works. So I just cut out the shape of a butterfly and glued it to the cardboard and also the tissue paper wings. I just, you can see, I just put a little bit of glue and just attach the very end of them, or edges of it down to the cardboard. The next thing you need is a balloon. Okay, so what this experiment is gonna show us is static electricity. So the wings are laying flat, and then I'm gonna take my balloon over the wings, and they should stand up. Let me rub it a little bit. Let's try it again. Yep, see, there it goes. See, so the butterfly flies up and the balloon comes close. And that's called static electricity. Another fun thing we used to do with balloons is you can put that close to your hair and it should make your hair stand out. Maybe not so much today for me. Or you can rub it on your hair and that causes that static electricity and it should stick. Let me try it again. Like that. And then more balloon fun is what we like to do here is when you have a balloon blown up, you can just play a game where you're just trying to keep it from touching the ground. And that's a lot of fun too for our balloon. So thank you for watching the science experiment. I'm gonna send these things home for you so you can make your own science experiment at home. And thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your day. And remember, it's April Fool's Day today. And so that means you can try to do any kind of trick for mom and dad and just have fun with it. And I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.